So it's really warm. It's nice outside and we're um, by the quay. Aren't we? Say, so, did you enjoy it? So, do, you, do you notice my hand? He's, I'm going to show you a haul that I got at a charity shop in one of the villages. Me and Russ and Annie and Millie stopped at this morning to have breakfast before we came to the show. And there was a charity shop next door. So I popped in there and I got this hat, which is Teddy, got teddy bear ears on it. <laughs> can you see yourself in there, can you? Hello, aunties. It is Wednesday today. And as you can see, the lovely Felicity with the beautiful blue eyes is looking at you. <clears throat> and um, I just got a bum change. She's just had her... Um, dinner and I'm now going to show you the uh, haul that I got this weekend and uh, I will sit Felicity up and there she is and a little booster chair that we've got we've had for a few years got it off of Amazon excuse the stuff in the background we are pup sitting for two weeks now yes Furry grandbaby peanut is here. She comes with a lot of stuff. Hey, doesn't she? Yes. All right. Here is a haul we're going to show you. It's a big one. I found a really good charity shop um, while we were away in the New Forest this weekend. So let's have a look. And I've also got Mr. Timothy here. Okay, let's move it out the way. Stuff has to go to be washed. I'll show you first of all. Um, this is what I got at the doll show. I'll just let the dogs out. There we are, I'll just let them out in a minute. So in case you didn't see to the end of the last video, I went to the doll, last doll show video. This was what I bought. They're called Honeybug Dummies. Let me turn them out here. So they have no nipple. Um, you can get them off of, I think it's called www.rebornshop.com. I think so, but if you'll need to go into the doll show video to see, because I did video the address of where you can get them, so that it just comes with a magnet that you can turn over at either side. And because you can take this off, you can also put another one on there, so you could put the yellow one on, uh, the yellow, the white one on there if you wanted. And a magnet, it, they come with the magnet, they were £4 each. And in my video you would have seen there's lots and lots of colours and there's one, with, there's one on Felicity All right now. <laughs> They're good, they fit really nicely. So that was those. Might you want that one in? Let's try the white one on you. Oh no, that's repelling, we need to turn that one around. I can't be bothered. I'll turn you guys around though so now you can see the rest of the haul. Excuse the noise of the dog barking outside. <laughs> that would be Peanut, the lady of the manor. So I've got a cup of tea on the go here. I just made myself a cup of tea and somebody called for the seat, so she needed a change. So I went into, we went into Aldi. And I picked this up while we were in Audi. It's a comforter. It was three ninety nine. It's a llama one. So it's got a little teething part on it, a nice crinkly part. And it's from ages newborn. But this would not be good for Sarah Joy because this noise would startle her. So she wouldn't be interested in that noise. But Felicity will love it. So that was three ninety nine. They had a couple of other things, newbie things there. But I just decided on the one. And then I also went into um, Smith's Toys and bought these, Rattle and Jingle Trio. So they have suction caps as well, so they can go on um, high chair, or they can play them on the floor. So they have three different ones. One's a bell, one has little beads in, and one has symbols. So they all make different sounds. They are by Baby Einstein. They are great. I really like them. So they're really, really good for gripping and holding on to. See how that baby's holding on to that? I think they're really making a really good grip onto that. Obviously, Felicity is 
not able to hold because of the way her hands are, but um, there'll be others that will be able to, but I just really like them. Okay, so now let's get to the charity shop. Um, yeah, some of it needs washing. So I got these two baskets. I thought they're great down for hillside. You very rarely see them. Um, so this is a hanging basket. And you can just put dried flowers or whatever you want in there. And then there's this little basket here. And I thought this is a good one for... Um, oh my gosh. The brain is cafuddled today. Um, the brain fog is strong with this one today. Gosh, what was her name? The big standing one. Patty. That's it, Patty. That um, the the mother-in-law's doll, the one that the mother-in-law gave me and I did up. So it, I just need to, I've just literally just dumped it all here and then I'm going to give it all a wipe over. But I thought that would be, would be nice for her to hold, Patty. And then this will be nice to go in there on the wall. These were 50p each. And then this little teddy bear. There's someone in next door, so that's why the dog's barking crazy. This little teddy bear. So cute. And it's 50p as well. And these. Let me just get them out. They're delicate. Let me just get them out. I was so worried that they were going to end up broken. So first of all, I've seen these flowers. And flowers are always good if you're a crafter, mini maker, card maker, any sort of crafter. Because these can be... Depending on where you go, can be quite pricey. You can see this one's had one cut off there and one cut off there, but they were a pack of them together. So I got those and then I spied this. Look at this mini set. It's a mini watering can and a mini trug. I think that's what you call them, trug, tr trugs. And, you know, it's what you would have had if you were going down the garden to collect your flowers or deadhead your flowers. You know, your little trug. Obviously not bone china. Usually they're more like willow or something like that. But I thought they were adorable. And they are both bone china. Hammersley, made in England. I just, just think they're so cute. And the, and the paintings on them aren't faded either. Just a little cute. And then this bird. We've got a few of these birds, and these birds make noises. But this one doesn't. And I came out of there, and I realised it doesn't make a sound. So the, you can't, there's nowhere to open it. But I might make a little hole, see if I can get the box out and put a, put a new, um, battery in it but it, they're supposed to make proper noises and um, this is a bullfinch but I like them because they're easy for identifying we do have a couple of these already that do actually make the noises that I've bought when we've been out and about but um, I guess that's why these were in a pound box it's because they didn't make a noise And then two nice bits of lace. I've been looking for bits like this for down in Hillside. I mean, this charity shop was so, so good value. That one is white lace. And then this one is pink. It's a bit bigger. They were both a pound. I just love stuff like that. Oh, this one's got a little bit of damage there, look. But I'll be all right. I'll be folding it up and putting it on somewhere. Probably putting it on the um, on the display cabinet. So I like that. I got to um, just put them in the wash, and I did think actually that this one looked quite nice in here. I had it in here, so I did think that one looked quite nice in there. And give it to Patty or something in it. Maybe some flowers. I don't know. And then I saw this Iggle Piggle. It's just one of these like fidgety, stretchy toys, but it's an Iggle Piggle in the night garden. 
but it's a fidgety toy, which I thought might be good for Mr. Timothy. Some sandals. She gave me that Eagle Peel thing free. Some sandals. They were a pound. Little jelly sandals with um, little monkeys on and rubber ring. Blue, age six to nine. So they would do for Annie, uh, Timothy or Annie. And this one. Frankie wanted something that went around her wrist, around her arm. She kept telling me about these bears. Well, I looked in um, Smith's Toys, didn't see a thing. But I've seen this in a charity shop, and you unclip it, and it, like, clips all the way around you, all around your arm. So I need to give that a wipe over. It's looking like a koala bear. And uh, give that one to her. And you would have seen this in the video. This was what Annie was wearing. This is, comes from the children's place, 0 to 6 months. It's quite a big hat, you've seen it on Annie's head. It's so cute, isn't it? So that, Annie or Timothy, you know, that's a boy or girl, that's whichever. And then I liked this dress as well. This was £1.50. It is um, velour material. This is who it is by baby bowl it says nine months but i just love how colorful it is i can just see even annie and that with a pair of leggings or even um emma jane in this um with a pair of leggings or something on underneath because it's quite long and emma jane's like long and slim so it's lovely and red with this mouse on it and this mouse is cute, isn't it? It's got a little orange dress and bow and that on. Little furry face, very tactile. And the hearts. And orange hearts, red hearts and orange spotty trim. It's really, really cute. I like that. And then there was this other penguin lovey. And I just always think these are handy for like theme of the week or anything like that. Anything where you can want to get some stuff matching. And I liked these little trainers. These were one pound. It was a children's. They were collecting money for a children's. These are Tesco's up to three months. Self-fit Mason. Really cute, like little high tops. <laughs> Got a little bit of, um, oh no, that's like actually broken off, I think. Oh well, that would be alright. It's a little bit of leather that's broken off or plastic. This is what I loved. It is a Velour St. Michael, so it's a vintage Marks and Spencer's 0 to 3 months baby grow. And look at that neckline. Isn't that cute? That's a lamb this side, and a bird the other side, and a butterfly. And it's in the neutral colours back then of blue, a mint, and yellow. That was kind of like neutral colours. And then it has like, looks like it, the feet are like separate kind of thing because it gives you this like false look of at the bottom of the leg. But I really thought that was really cute. So I couldn't wait to show you so I can get these things, all these things washed. Here's another lovey. These are like 50p, I think, these loveys. That's a zebra. And then this dress, which I cannot wait to put on, madame. Look at that. It looks like, as soon as I saw it, I thought Alice in Wonderland with all the teapots all over it. Isn't that cute? So it's navy. And then it's got a bit of a bit of tulle underskirt. And then it's got on top, it's got this pattern um, with the teapots and the flowers on. And oh, it's just so cute. This is the, the maker. Peanut. Gosh, Maggie and Zoe. 
so cute. It's just like a really big full skirt with buttons down the back. Oh, just love it. So I'm going to get that in the wash and get Missy into that. So our neighbours are all coming home now, so that's what's setting Missy off. Stop it! And then I picked up shirts, because I love my Timothy in shirts. And by the time you're watching this, you probably will know that Elliot has now found a new mummy. So I did originally have Elliot in mind as well for shirts. But this is a Disney one, so I thought it was really cute. They're both from Next. And this has just got lots and lots of Disney pictures, cartoon pictures all over it. That one's 9 to 12. I think that one would be a bit big for him, actually. But it doesn't matter with a shirt, does it? And then this one, which is a beach theme. Isn't that good? I'm so sorry if my dog is annoying you. Well, she's not my dog. She's my furry grandbaby. <laughs> But she's like, what's going on, Grandma, around here? It's noisy. It's not noisy. It's just people coming home. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so there's this um, other one, and it's blue, and it's I just love it. I love the bright neon colours and that on it. It just looks brilliant for the summer. And then another vintage find. This is vintage, isn't it, guys? Surely this is vintage. It's a big, old... I I'll use them as I use them just as a mat for the floor down in hillside. Like I'm not Millie can lie on it as well. These are easily easy to go in the wash for Millie. So is this is this it's old, isn't it? It's, it doesn't have any label where it comes from on it. But I do know that it's probably from early two thousands. Nineteen ninety nine. I can't remember. But I just think, that is really cute. It's so colourful. I can just put it down on the floor. The kids can sit on it and play. So now I can get this all in the wash. <laughs> now I've shared it with you. So thank you all. I must remember to take all the labels off everything. Thank you all very much for watching today's haul. Diddy, diddy. Did you get all of these in here? Cut that off, cut the labels and everything off, and get it all in the wash. Annie's, the hat Annie had on, I did wipe it out with disinfectant before we wore it that day, wiped it over, because I already picked it up that morning. But there we go, guys. What was your favourite thing? I can't decide. I just love it so much. I just love everything. Do you have a favourite thing? Let me know in the comments below. And have you scored any charity shop bargains over this past couple of weeks? Is there something you're really chuffed that you found? I mean, I was so chuffed that I found a shop. It was in one of, like, the New Forest area is a um, uh, kind of, like, exclusive area, if you like. Very pretty. Um, and this little village that we found a cafe open in was the next door was this charity shop. And um, I was, like, thrilled because this, is, this was a nice area. And it was so cheap compared to, like, my local areas. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, so if you scored yourself any bargains, let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.